This is the family's table. I've been working on this for months. I don't know how many, but off and on between other projects, like recently I did a try to deal with JEDCOM project, try to import JEDCOM project, and I'll get back to that someday. Uh, it was uh, interesting. It was easier than I thought it would be, and it was harder than I thought it would be. But today we're going to take a look at this family's table. It's been redone uh, probably four times, and it should be working pretty good uh, for the most part. In Tree Bard, we show the whole story right here in one place. This guy has a whole bunch of wives, has started different families with different people. So here we got the parents, the top two, father and mother, biological parents, male on the left, female on the right. Here you can put anywhere, anybody anywhere, regardless of gender, on these alt parents. We have three categories of alt parents. There's foster parents, adoptive parents, and guardians. And I mean, if you want to put a foster mother over here and a foster mother over here, I'm not going to stop you. It doesn't matter. It's regardless of gender, okay? Up here, biological, male, female, father, mother, down here. Do what you want. These are partners. We, each one has a radio button. So you click there and go down here, add a person's name here, either a new person or an existing person in the database, and click there, add child. That will add another child to this person. And that's how I added most of these children. This is two different Moira Hardings, 57 and 50. 5735, 5739, that's two different people by the same name. This is just for just a sample database that I'm using during development. Let's delete that. Here, TreeBar gives you a choice. Uh, it doesn't do this for you like most software is going to do. They're going to just, just unlink everything from everybody and you get to start over on some of it. We're not going to do that. We're going to help you by giving you a choice as to... I just deleted somebody, but this person was there for a reason, okay? It's there. This person is there because she had two children with James. So what if you just want to unlink her from one of these children? Then you, you go like this. We'll unlink her from one of those children only, okay? We're going to unlink her from both these children, and it redraws. And now she is not there, not, not there anymore. Okay, this is a different Moira Harding, different ID number. Now, I did that so we could do this. We have a nun here. This is a nun partner. This is a null partner. Okay, so if, in this case, we're going to change from a null partner to an existing person. So that's, say, we're going to type a name in here. Okay. That's a field you can type in there. It'll autofill with whatever names happen to exist matching what you start to type. We can also do this, number 5735, tab out, and there you go. We're going to add Moira Harding, number 5735, and we're going to say, let's link it to both these people. Okay. Now, how do you add somebody? So we've got a blank field. That's a nun, and we're going to add an existing person. Let's try that guy. He was the one that was already there, but we'll just try him again. Oh, look. Okay, he came back. Tree bar doesn't make your choices for you. Just because this is a girl over here don't mean this has to be a boy over here. Uh, that's the way of the world. It's the 21st century, right? So let's not worry about that. Let's try changing a nun partner. To a duplicate person. All right, Nilda Sonny Whiteacre. We're gonna delete her from the tree, and not from the tree. This does not delete her from the tree. This deletes her from this relationship. She's being unlinked. Okay, let's unlink her from all this stuff. There's no events. Only children. These are all four children. So unlink her from all four children. All right. Now this is now all these children have a null mother. Alright, so we know that Moira Harding 
is a duplicate name, so we're just going to use it. Moira Harding. <clears throat> All right, which ones do we want to link? Well, for right now, I'm trying to keep it kind of simple. Let's link them all. Which Moira Harding? Haha, <laughs> that's good. I'm glad that happened. That was supposed to happen. Oh my. It worked. Did you see that? Oh, that's exciting. I like it when stuff works. You know, what the heck? If I can do it, you can do it. That's one of our mottos here at Tree Bard University. So, moving right along, let's choose something else to do. Okay, we'll change this person. This is the father of James Woodland, biological father. We're going to change Gary instead of Gary. And we're not going to tab out because then it'll be a null father. We already tested that over here. All right, let's make a person. We're going to make a father. Foster Glenn. Foster Glenn it is. Yes, sir. -y. We change an existing person to a new person. Let's try an all parent this time just for the fun of it. I want you to see an ID input work so we're going to change from a null all parent to an existing all parent or an existing person so we're going to get rid of Carmelina here tab out unlink from the child Alberta Reese she's gone now we have a null parent and we're going to add an existing person so here's our list of people let's go Carlotta Deborah Marvel but instead of typing Carlotta we're going to type 6093 all right let's see if Carlotta fills in when we type her ID number number I have to type the number sign 6093 tab out which we're going to link to Alberta okay there she is. That worked. Okay. Did you see that? I put in the ID number and the name appeared. Now we're going to do what we said we're going to do. Alt parent. We're going to make a null. Delete. Tap out. There's a null. Alt parent. Okay. Now we're going to put in a an existing person called Arletha Willard, 6075, 6075, there she is. Now it's Arletha, let's test this, we'll do it very carefully, remembering exactly what we had intended to do. We're going to change Arletha to another existing person, all right? Make sure we don't tab out. We're still in there. And we're going to change that to a different existing person, Virginia R. Robinson, number 6073, 6073, and there she is, Virginia R. Robinson. Robinson. Tree bar is not about tree bar, tree bar is about genealogy. That's why we go to the, all this trouble to do all this detail so that the database underneath this really simple looking software or this simple looking interface the database underlying this simplicity is pretty complex. It's not hard to use because it's made well, but it's, it does do complex stuff. And that's what I'm after. I'm after a database structure that reflects actual reality so that when you find actual reality on these documents, you can input it into your database without compromising the facts okay well I've got that same rant on, on lots of different movies watch my JEDCOM movies if you want alright thanks for coming I'll see you next time bye